What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as you finally all y'all ass enough times, and here it is. We are playing as the one, the only, Yorick Mori. And I am actually using my favorite Yorick skin. I do prefer the uh, Undertaker Yorick skin over any other skin, to be totally honest. So, I mean, that's just like my opinion, man. But, you know, pretty rad. And I, I guess we can try this. Maybe? Who are we against? Alessandra. Yeah, we might as well. Might as well just give this a good old roundabout, give it a good old shot. We'll be rushing straight for the tier. You guys did say you wanted me to try, like, hybrid Yorick or something? And I, I'm hesitant on that. Me playing Yorick in the first place is already quite, uh, is pushing it, is pushing it, if you will. Um, but we'll see how this all goes, because Yorick, every now and then, he is a pretty fun champion. He is a lane-dominant champion. He is a fun dude to play every now and then, and we'll see how this all goes. It will be a difficult game for us to build against, though, because they do have two very heavy AP threats uh, in the Lissandra in the... A uh, LeBlanc, that's her name, LeBlanc. I couldn't think of that name for a second, I'm not sure why. But by the way, just in case you guys wanted to see an awesome shirt, let me just uh, show you guys my shirt. Here you go. There you go, just Finn and Jay from Adventure Time riding a kitten in space, you know, just in case you needed that. But let's get to laning here. Let us get right into the laning phase and see how we do. So I think I am just going to max my E, T, B, H, um... Because I'm going to need the sustain, especially in this Lissandra lane. Lissandra is going to be poking me quite a lot. Um, and I mean, that's like, that's, you know, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and get some sustain off of this right now. So every time that autos are, I actually get a bunch of HP back. So, just throwing one E gave me actually quite a lot of health back. So let's go ahead and get another one of those out there. And see if we can just get some more HP back. So it seems she knows Yorick's ultimate weakness. The fact that if you walk into a bush, you lose aggro. But let's go ahead and do it again. Looks like she will be throwing out a uh, whatever that ability is on us. And let's go ahead and... Whoop. Wait, what am I doing? Whoop. And I'm going to go ahead and flash. I'm not sure if I needed to flash, but uh, dude, she was stalling that Q forever. Hang on, let's go ahead and get another one of those out there and see what we can do. Because if I just keep on chilling here, throwing E's out whenever I can, this Lissandra is doing a lot of damage. I did not expect an AP matchup in top. I haven't seen a Lissandra top in so long. So this damage is really throwing me for a loop here. But let's go ahead and, ahead and get some more of that healing right there and see if we can just keep on laning for now. As you can see, just with those couple E's that I keep throwing out here, we have already gotten a decent amount of our HP back along with using our refillable potion that will be built into a corrupting potion, I'm sure. Uh, let's go ahead and throw another one of those out. That is kind of unfortunate, uh, to be totally honest in this lane. The fact that her W is like the same range as my E, that's... Uh, that's, that's rather unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and actually throw my E on that monster, though, because even though I didn't hit her with it, it does still give us some HP back. So not uh, too concerned on that front. And we'll just keep on chilling. I actually can go back here anytime I want and grab my Tear of the Goddess, which is something that I probably should do, like, ASAP. But look at that. Yeah, give me some of that young HP back. Good job, Ghoulie. Spooky Ghost just going to help us out quite a lot there. I'm not going to get that minion, unfortunately. I will get that one. And let's see. Mm. All right. Mm. Damn it. Mm. All right. Well, we got some of them. We got an all right amount of them. And let's see, it looks like she wants to just... It, it, it looks like she wants to tango, and we're actually going to throw a ward in there. Because now if she does or if she does try and drop aggro of my ghouls by trying to run into that bush, she's going to have to walk pretty far away into another bush. Because that one ain't going to work no more. But just look at this, even after that really bad lane start, we've already gotten so much back. We've already gotten so much of our HP back and so low on hers. So, we can actually start really taking a dominant position in this lane. We can stop playing the beta bitch. We can play as the alpha, as they say. 
and miss CS because that's what I intended to do entirely. So for the second, we'll actually have caught up on CS, but as soon as this wave crashes into her turret, it's obviously going to all go to waste, and it's looking like she probably backed. I don't blame her. There's the teleport. She totally did 100%. So I'm just going to push this out myself, and actually, I'm just going to leave it right there and recall now. Because what this will do, because she is going to, wait, why are you ignoring the wave? Now it's going to go under her tower. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I mean, it's not that much going under her tower. So, she will definitely get those. I can go grab, let's see, I can grab my Tear of the Goddess, I can grab my full Corrupting Potion, I can grab some boots, and then let's see here. She's got... Actually didn't have that much. And we'll go ahead and just teleport right onto this, because I don't give a heck. I don't give a single heck. And by the way, teleport, it doesn't matter where you teleport now. It's all the same cooldown, so it doesn't matter one single bit where you go. And let's see, she got Amplifying Tome and whatever that thing is. So let's go ahead and just throw this out here. It looks like she wanted to take a big ol' fight with us. Will not be her best choice, though, so... Decently large scale battle going on there. Let's go ahead and get some of our HP back as well as use our Corrupting Potion. And it looks like we have won this exchange. So, getting a little aggressive there. A little, a little overly aggressive there, don't you think? Look at that sustain, dude. Just with the Corrupting Potion and constant ease, I'm already back up to full health. And she actually needs to back um, pretty soon here. Because if she doesn't, she's going to find herself in a pretty bad spot. A very uh, awkward pickle. And let's go ahead and just look at this damage right there. Look at it, dude. Just look at it. Looks like Diana wants to come up here and see if she can get a dive off or something. I don't blame her. She can go ahead and try that all she wants. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot be of assistance. There is simply too many minions here for me to afford doing this. I really... Well, she got the kill. Will she get out? She... Will... Good job! There we go! Great job there, Di- ah, and she's dead. Okay. Well, it seems that LeBlanc has made her, uh, made her appearance in a very deceptive fashion, and we'll be finding the Diana that chose to dive my lane mate, getting me an assist at least, but she will pay the ultimate price, her life, in exchange for, um, you know, something of that sort. Shenanigans of that level, so... Her tomfoolery hopefully paid off in her eyes because getting the kill will hopefully, uh, you know, pay out or pay for itself. And I really should have tried to push this lane a lot faster than I did, but we will still have pushed it adequately, um, adequately enough to get most of these. She will go ahead and glacial path right on in here. And let's see. I need to probably ward. And by probably ward, I mean I really should have warded like a year ago. But as you know, I don't give a heck. So, you know, I'm totally fine with kind of scrub dunking it up, all up, all over the place. So let's go ahead and see here. Maybe we can whoocha, get some good pain off on her. And just, even though it doesn't do that much initial damage, just the constant barrage of damage that comes out of it is so much. Like, it actually is so much. Go ahead and do it. I was actually standing by her claw because I was ready to just ult myself, use my potion, get as much mana back as I could, and just duke it out with her. So, I'm not sure if she was ready for it, but I most certainly was. So, go ahead and just, well, I guess we'll just keep on chilling here, gain as many of these mini onions as we can. My teleport will be back up in a minute and a half, so that means hers will be up in probably about a minute. So, things to keep in mind. And actually, if she, if she insists on pushing this, this just makes the lane safer for me. Because since I'm Yorick and I just keep pushing hard, I'm actually not in a very safe position in this lane. But Lee Sin is coming up right now. So I'm actually going to go ahead and back off. We did just see him. And let's go ahead and just walk over here. He is going to try and throw a Q at us, I'm sure. Nope, never mind. Oh, there's a, there, oh, there's a pink in there. All right, go ahead and knock it by that Q. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> do it. I don't even give a heck. So apparently Lee Sin or Lissandra, one of the two, did eventually throw a pink ward in my tri-bush. Um, something I should probably communicate with my team, but at the same time, I just kind of feel like CS right now. Pink in tri-top. And it looks like, luckily, 
Well, kind of luckily, kind of unluckily, but luckily, they do have one person on their team getting fed, and that one person is LeBlanc. So, it's kind of fortunate, kind of unfortunate, uh, with however you choose to look at it. Either way, it's fortunate for us in the fact that it's only one person getting fed, as opposed to, you know, multiple people getting fed, because now we can definitely just buy one type of resistance and totally win all the video games. So let's see, should we go for that? We can't actually go for that right now, because we can't afford it. But, if I go with this, you know what, if I just say to heck with it, and wait like I want to, I'm going to do that, because that'll stack it quite a lot faster. Uh, where are you going, Yorick, you silly goose? And by the time we have the money for it and buy it, our teleport will be up. So we can just teleport back to lane if I deem it necessary. And I think... I don't think I'm going to bother teleporting back. Because I'm not going to miss that many mains if for, like, for not teleporting. And if I save my teleport and get a gank off on bottom or something like of the sorts, you know, like a dragon fight or something like that, I think that'll be a lot better use of it. So let's see, it looks like... Oh. Diana tried to pick a very bad fight, it seems, and she's also making a very large mistake by going straight for a Sheen right now. What she needs to do, especially in a lane like this, is rush Abyssal Scepter. Um, if you're against a LeBlanc, who is getting very fed right now, you 100% cannot afford to not get magic resistance. That's plain and simple. And Abyssal Scepter on its own is a very good item. So... Her getting that would not be a bad choice in the slightest. In fact, it would probably be the best choice she can make right now. So it looks like, wait, what the heck? Alright, so it looks like she wants to do this. And let's see, you want to try that again? Alright, maybe, maybe? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Go ahead and do it again. I don't even give a heck. Let's see you try that one again, muchacho. You think you can just front me? Mm, come here. Meh. 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 Go ahead and heal up off the minions here. Let our corrupting potion do what it does best. And we can probably just like flash on her here in a bit. So let's go ahead and throw that. There's her W actually. And just look at that sustain too. So let's see. Go ahead and throw the E. Hey, that's going to be a kill. The ghoul's doing everything there for us. Going to pick up a solo kill on this Lissandra. That'll be good for us. So absolutely terrific there look at that hp coming back and now that i have my uh man immune i'm going to go actually straight for a spirit visage because that increased healing is going to be so nice in this lane as well as all that mr to deal with you know the only fed character on their team and obviously cdr is great and what else can we get we should we could actually go for a um an Iceborne Gauntlet, too. That would be another 20% CDR. And also, the Sheen Effect that also gives the huge-ass slow. So, there is a lot of good stuff in store for us today on this Yorick game. But, it's looking like that LeBlanc is going to be... Going to definitely be something else, to say the least. But, you know, we should be totally fine. I actually think we'll be very, very fine in this lane. Um, or not in this lane, but in this game, hopefully. And since I do still have my teleport, I can actually go back, grab my Spectre's Cowl, which is 1100 gold, and she's actually coming into this bush, isn't she? Come here, stop doing that. Hey, knock that off. I'm going to go ahead and flash out of this one. Because I don't know if her ultimate is back up, and I really don't care to risk it either. And if I'm going to be totally honest, I don't care to risk that, s even slightly. Because if that is up, that is not going to be good <laughs> for us. I think I actually would die in that situation. But let's go ahead and teleport on in here. And even though this isn't the best teleport, it's still going to help. Um, you know, me not take tower damage, me not losing these minions in this next wave. So actually, now that I look at where the wave is, totally a fine teleport. Totally, totally fine. And I'll actually be able to pull ahead and see us again here. So that is really good. And I actually, you know, I kind of wonder how, um, just how much of my CS, or Lissandra's CS, is from my ghouls. I'm actually rather curious about that. So I'm not, not too sure. But that is okay. Our omen, what is our W? It's omen of pestilence, right? 
Then the E is Omen of Famine, and the Q is Omen of War. What's the ultimate? Is it the Omen of Death? Yeah! Yeah, I remembered all of them. I'm all proud of myself. Wait. It's the Four Horsemen! Are you kidding me? I just realized that. Yorick has been in this game for that long, and I just fucking realized that? Are you kidding me? What the heck? She's lost her damn mind! Alright, you just kicked the wrong one! Alright, uh-oh, wait, maybe, never mind. Alright, come here! I got a bone to pick with you, little bitch! Come on! Come on! Yeah, son! You think you can just gank Yorick and get away with it for free? Not today, bitch! That's gonna be a kill going off still on the Lissandra. I don't even give a heck that we died to the Lee Sin. I will still get a kill in that exchange. So, one for one and a one versus two will be worth. So let me just take a drink of delicious vitamin water. Lemonade. Delicious. I actually really, really need that. I haven't had a drink in so long. Well, looks like LeBlanc is bottom. The exhaust coming out, and LeBlanc is uh, just a little, a little fed at the moment. So nine zero oh, and zero, oh. and our Diana still really badly needs to get an abyssal. I feel like you know. I feel like I should just mention it because I, I'm not sure if she's gonna go for it on her own if we don't. But. <clears throat> I also don't want to come off as sounding rude, because I know a lot of times when I try and advise people on what to build, they think I'm just like trying to command them and be an asshole, and that's that's not the goal. That is not the goal. Um, so I apologize if I've tried to help anyone that came off as that. So, you know, like, my dang. But let's go ahead and just keep on chilling here. We are in such a commanding position in this lane. I think we are... Uh, you know, I think I think it's pretty safe to say we we wear the pants in this relationship. We've got the big dick here. So let's see. You want to mess with my big dick, bruh? Look at that. Look at that. Feel my big dick and my ghouls. The long dick of injustice will be fucking you now. Because I mean, Yorick isn't really Yorick isn't really like you know the Templar of Damasia or anything like that. He's just he's a grave digger. So I, mean, I don't really know what else to say. But let's go ahead and take this tower. Lissandra has left it unattended, and I'm sure she's probably going to try and go down there to fight at the dragon, which is where we should probably be going. But at the same time, do I give a heck? Do you guys know me to give a heck? Like, TBH, guys. TBH. Do, do any of you know me to give even one singular heck? Especially when we don't have any, you know, vision of that area. And it looks like she wasn't going down there anyways, so... Go ahead and look at that damage coming out. And that will be quite a lot. There's the ghouls just gonna go spookify her. Hey, you scared, Lissandra? You scared? You scared? I'd be scared, dude. This champion's spooky. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. We got a lot of ghouls coming in, and that's going to be a lot of damage so far. Throw this E out. Look at that damage going off. Lee Sin thinks he can just do this in my house, and maybe drop the E. There's going to be one kill, and maybe... Come on. Yeah, brother. 1v2 double kill. Absolutely murdering both of them. And that will be the outright click 80 carry mechanics. Yorick Moore is the best champion in League of Legends ever. How did that just work? And we just got Dragon too. So, terrifically well done there. And that will be our full spirit visage and a sheen now. So, damn dude. Not even a Lee Sin gank can save you now. And that was also with me not even using my flash. So hell fucking yeah. 4-1-1 one one on this Yorick. It looks like we're going to have to really throw our carry pants on this game. And that's quite alright. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, I'm used to it. But I've been in this role a once or even a twice. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab this red for ourselves real quick and see if uh, you know we can do some work with it. So I'm gonna actually make my uh, make my appearance known in mid. See if I can. Oh, is that gonna be a kill off on LeBlanc? It's not, not yet. But will it be now? Hello, hello. All right, there's the what? 
How did that land? Alright, let's go ahead and do this. See if we can just do anything here. That's gonna be some good damage. Get this potion ticking. One kill going off right there. And whoop That's gonna be another kill going in right there. You think you can just do that to fucking Yorick? Not to me, son. Not to me. Not today. Not ever. And that will be my top tower possibly going down. But... We will get the mid tower in exchange. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and teleport now just so I can be sure that this doesn't go down with this next wave. So, that is terrific for us. And look at that 5 1 and 2, getting mid tower, saving top tower as well. And Yorick is, oh my goodness, we are getting to be a big boy, as they say. So, my teleport is down. And ah, there it is. Now I didn't have to say it. Of all of bears saying what we wanted to say all along, but I didn't want to. I just didn't want to be an ass, you know. I didn't want to. Didn't want to come off as an ass because it's happened before, and then people like get super tilted. I'm like, I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that. I just, I just wanted to say, you know, just wanted to say. So does she have a blue. She does have a blue, but she doesn't know that there's a Yorick coming behind her. And let's see. It looks like. Well, it looks like now they probably know. But hello, 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 and. Whoop, that's going to be maybe. Come on. All right. You know what? This could be bad. But let's do it anyways. And bam, that's going to be. Come on. No. Fuck you. One kill. And. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Nah, not going to get the kill. <laughs> but still going to get one kill out of that. And now we have our Iceborne Gauntlet. That'll help a lot. That'll give us some good armor. 20% CDR. So we are at the 30% CDR. Um. 30% CDR, whatever it is, fucking cap, that's the word, cooldown reduction cap, so we are there, we do have a big slow coming in on our auto attacks now, whenever we use an ability, as well as, let's see, icy zone of size 220, oh, I should have looked at what it was on my mouth fight game, damn it, dang it, dude, alright, that's okay though. Next up, I definitely will be grabbing the Mercury Treads, and I think I'm going to get a Dead Man's Plate and probably a Maw of Malmortius. Because Maw of Malmortius is super strong, and it'll give me that extra MR and the shield to deal with LeBlanc. And then Dead Man's Plate will give me more um, or, uh, HP and armor, and also more uh, chasing potential with the increased speed that we'll benefit from. And also, on top of that, it'll give us some more of, uh, cha -cha -cha. damage. That's the word. Damage. Damage crowd control because it has a slow... I just cannot speak yet. I'm still in the process of waking up. I took a nap, even though it's definitely not 11.30 p.m. and I'm just, like, now getting up. I'm not going to say anything for sure, but uh, it's possible. So we'll go ahead and just walk through here. Lee Sin knows that he can't fuck with us, especially not alone. He's trying to super insectify us everywhere, and it's kind of working. But at the same time, I don't give even a one singular heck. So let's see if let's see if the 13 and 0 LeBlanc has the bones to pick with us. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. So you know, maybe maybe if it was just LeBlanc, I would do it. But since it's more than just LeBlanc, I'm not too sure about this. So, let's go ahead and see here. Whoop! Do it. Do it. Give me some HP. Come on, I need some HP. Come here. Yeah, wait. Come here. Whoop! That's going to be some good damage. Look at this damage coming out here. Dragon's Rage coming out. And maybe not going to be enough. But still, quite a lot of damage going off there. Let's go ahead and heal up some. That'll be some pretty good stuff. And boop, throw another E right there to get some more HP. Use our Corrupting Potion, because why the heck not? And let's see, LeBlanc is waiting off on the wings there to try and do some stuff. We'll be getting dumped on, so come here. Come here, LeBlanc. All right, you know what? Come here, Lissandra. I don't even give a heck. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. All right, let's see. Maybe. Come on. Come on! No! <laughs> not gonna be able to 1v4 yet. Um, well, I mean, no, not a real huge surprise there that I couldn't 1v4 yet. But we're not gonna be able to 1v4 yet. Um, or to be honest, 
likely any time during this game. Because, you know, even though I'm Yorick, and I'm, like, kind of strong and stuff, that's, it's pretty unlikely that, oh, <laughs> spotted. But it's pretty unlikely that I'll be able to 1v4 at any point in this game at all. Anyways, going for the Dead Man's Plate now. We did finish our Mercury Treads. That'll give us some tenacity as well as a bit more MR. Um, so a definite good pickup there. Let's see, what other items are there? Zerat Portal? Really? Things to consider. So, ooh, Black Cleaver would actually probably be pretty good too, but not in this not in this situation for us. That would not be a good, a good idea here. So let's go ahead and teleport in just because I don't give a heck. This is an awful teleport actually, but let's go ahead and... Actually, I'm not going to bother. That was a really bad teleport. So, I thought they were going to try a lot harder to push, but uh, they did not. They did not. So let's see. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. It's looking like we're going to have to do something here. Get my ultimate off. So maybe we can just do something. And come here. Come on. Meh. 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 Alright, so I'm not really going to do that much with my extra life here, but I can get quite a lot of damage off on, uh, what's-her-face, the Leona. So, there's literally no reason for them to be scared of LeBlanc in, th in that tiny situation. All because LeBlanc had already used her abilities and all she had to do was, um, you know, fight her, because she did not have her mimic or anything like that. But, that is A-OK. -okay. And look at this, look at this. It seems like she's kind of starting to rage, and she still hasn't touched MR. Not e not even slightly. So that's I don't I don't feel bad. I want to feel bad, but I don't feel bad. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't feel bad at all. Um, but let's see if we can do anything in mid here. So let's see it. Kablam! That's gonna be some big smack going off right there. There's one kill, and let's see it. Whoop, whoop, baby. All right, come on, get the slow. There it is. And you ain't getting away from me, brother. That's gonna be definitely. Oh, oh, never mind. I was wrong. I take it all back. It's only memes. It's only memes. Uh oh. Oh, the right click. Right click. The heel. The right click. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, 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 questionable. Uh, maybe. Nope. Yep. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> she is definitely dead. So everyone's gonna go down here once again. So let's see. As far as things that are going really wrong in this game, our support really needs a locket, like really badly. Um, because she is a very large majority of their damage, and she has literally no defenses. Like Morgana needs defenses so she can get into a fight in alt. Um, and as much fun as we're having with Yorick here. It's not looking like we can, like, solo carry a game with them. We can do a lot, but if I try and solo push, I have no way to get out of things. That's what I'm really worried about. And it looks like our Volibear went for quite a lot of, uh... He has Ghost. I didn't even notice he had Ghost. But he has quite a lot of damage. Like, he has health, but not really actual tank stats. So, that's interesting. Ezreal's build is totally fine. I don't know if I agree with that. Wait. Wait, what the heck? No. She has a full tier and she's not upgrading it? What the heck? What is going on this game? I hate to sound like I'm critiquing builds so much, but builds are such a big part of League. And it's like a really important thing for everybody to know this stuff. But, it is what it is. We got our mirror mana finally. So let's see if we can make some additional amounts of pain happen all over their bodies now as we play this video game so it looks like we will get a bot lane turret good job Diana and that is that's alright that is alright so let's see here maybe we can maybe I'm just being hopeful when I'm saying maybe we can get something top I think I might just be being hopeful Actually, with the people that are down, I see three of them. Lissandra is the only other person around. And as long as my team can kind of defend, I can I can probably just dive Lissandra, to be honest. I'm not going to. I think that would be a bad choice. But I could. I could very easily do it, probably. Let's go ahead and blip. What the hell is that damage? 
What the fuck? All right, so we do have Lee Sin coming in. Do you want to do this again, Lee? Like we've we've done this before. This this seems like a distinctly familiar situation, except there wasn't a little blunt coming for me last time. So I'm gonna continue to run away this time, um, <laughs> because. Even though I do like to really scrap it out and show off my gigantic testicles, I don't think... I don't think that they're going to care too much about my balls when they just penetrate me with ridiculous amounts of flat damage. Um, so, you know, with, with that in mind, let's go ahead and throw a ward there. Oh, hey, there's a pink. Boop. Boop. So I'm probably dead to be honest. Let's go ahead and throw the ultimate here. Maybe we can see if we can do anything and oh, Bonk maybe come on wait my mirror mana wasn't on. Why wasn't it on? Oh, man Rest in peace. I got the pink though. So totally totally worth it if you ask me I'm gonna go ahead and call the total worth to be totally H and Let's let's keep viewing this here Sorry, I, I keep looking at the builds in this game. Volibear is on the right track now, getting Spear Visage. Um, he's kind of going the right direction, at least getting Azonias right now. That's decent. That's good for him to engage with. This is still fine outside of not actually getting the Mirror Mana. That's really atrociously bad that you really... Like, if you're going to have a fully stacked tier, you need to get the Mirror Mana. Um, but just... <laughs> Diana's build, man. I hope that Amplifying Tome is going straight towards a... Um, Azonia's because that's the only other like really good option of an item she can have right now. It looks like it is so That much is good that much is good um, she Still very desperately needs magic resistance, but uh, At least getting Azonia's next is a good choice That is definitely one of the better choices she can make where Nasher is in Lich Bane They are good items on Diana. Do not get me wrong. I'm not trying to say like what the fuck? These items are goddamn atrociously bad. I'm just saying, like, in the situation of this game, they are bad choices to get in the order she got them in. Um, and that's one thing that I'm trying to help a lot of people realize in League, is that it is not a static game. You cannot just run the exact same build every single game and expect to win every time. It doesn't work like that. You need to be able to adapt. It's a situational game. Everything... Things will change, like situations will change. Not every game will you have to deal with an 18 and 1 LeBlanc. You won't always have to go straight for an Abyssal Scepter. Or, you know, like if you're against a Zed, you may not want to go straight for a Lich Bane and an Ashes. You may want to try and get a Zonia's a little sooner. Just things like that. Things like that are all around League. And you really need to know what to build or when to build items to be able to adapt with it. Because. It is so important to proper gameplay um, to be able to adapt in any situation. Which is why, in my case, usually as Yorick, I might actually go straight for a Dead Man's Plate after I get my tier. Or not even go for a Sheen item for a little bit. Just go for more tank stats. Because maybe I'm getting anal in lane somehow. Do you see what I'm saying, though? Do you guys get what I'm hitting at here? But let's see if we can help out this. See if we can get in here a little bit. See if we can do anything. That's going to be... Uh-oh. Throw the W out. That's going to be some good damage. Let's go ahead and just see what we can do. It's looking like they want to scrap it out with me. All right, let's get a clone of ourselves in here. That's going to be some good damage right there. Come here, buddy. That's going to be some big pain coming out on you. And you know what? I ain't done with you. Oh, I'm done with you because you flashed. All right, you know what? I ain't done with you. Boom, there's another kill. Come here. Oh, I ain't done with you. You think I'm done with you? I was done with your friend, but I ain't done with you, muchacho. That's gonna be some good damage. There it is. Boop, there's another kill. Come here. And, well, I think I'm done with him now. Um, I keep saying I'm not done with you, but this time I actually, as a matter of fact, I am done with them. So, not going to keep fucking around with it further. And that will be the end of that. So 10, 6, and 3 now on Yorick. Not doing... You know, honestly, all things considered, I think we're doing very well this game. If I'm going to be blatantly honest with y'all, I think we're doing just a... Honestly, a terrific job. Um, granted, some of our plays may have been, you know, slightly questionable. Maybe. Perhaps. 
will not say yes or no. Um, overall, we have played this game very well. So, win or loss, I am definitely okay with our personal performance. Because I do feel like I did a good job of showing off what Yorick can kind of do. Um, and by kinda, I mean Yorick the Spooky Ghoster Man is so goddamn powerful in some situations. And, I mean, if you only look at lane, then yeah. But outside of it, he does struggle quite a lot. His team fighting, while it's not bad, is definitely not his strong suit. We can say that with quite a lot of conviction. So let's see here. It's looking like, uh... See, this is one mistake that I'm actually making really frequently. My team needs me. Their team does not need Lissandra. Um, like, that's my big issue. Because, like I keep saying, my team needs me pretty badly, actually. So let's go ahead and just see what we can do here. Look at that damage. Let's go ahead and, oh, get kicked out of the tether. Thanks, muchacho. And, well, I'm okay. I'm done. That's enough for me. So, using my short-ass cooldown ultimate. How long is it? No cooldown. That's probably inaccurate, uh, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. So, wait. What the heck? Are they doing this? They've lost their damn mind. That's going to be one kill going off right there. And, uh-oh, it's looking like she went down too. Go ahead and slow him down. You think you can just do this to me? Not to... Okay, you're getting out of there. See ya. I didn't... You know, I didn't want to fight anyways. Uh, you know, I really didn't want to fight. I have... I don't, I don't have a personal vendetta against you or anything. So, you know, I'm just going to... I'm just going to chill and uh, keep on... Keep on thwapping things with my shovel. So... Let's go ahead and run on top here. Maybe we can get some of this farm. And wait, we have 3,500 gold in our last item slot available. What should I buy? What should I buy? I can buy a full maw. I could do that. Um, I think we'll do that for now, just so we can have like something there. Um, a thorn mail, moderately okay choice, just to deal with Vayne. Um, I don't think that'll be my best choice by any means. Yomu's is another offensive choice I could make. Again, I don't think that would be my best choice, though. Um, let's see. Death's Dance actually could be pretty good. In all honesty, Death's Dance might actually be a very good choice this game. Now that I'm thinking about that, it'll cap me on my CDR. It'll make me take less damage. It'll help me heal more. So the... You know what? The more I think about this, I I don't think that'd be a bad idea. I really don't think that'd be a bad idea. So, for now, we're just going to use the Maw of Malmordius. I should probably switch my Trinket, too. Um, but, you know, for now. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to this guy, though. That's going to be some big damage. Come here. Come on, bap. There it is. Look at that damage. And maybe... Kerblam. Come on. Wait, alright, let's go ahead and throw the ultimate out of him and see what we can do. Just keep on auto-attacking, doing as much damage as we can. Throw the E out. Look at this. Get the E out, I said. Throw the W. There's a vein. Ah! I should have ulted myself. Why'd I ult Volibear? That was an awful choice on my part. That was not a good choice. Alright, Diana going in. I'm even going to throw a Q first. Okay, and did not zone you. Oh, double okay. Alright. <laughs> alright. Okay, so, yikes, <laughs> yikes, 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 how much other de does a Death's Dance cost, Death's Dance, 3400, so 3400, wait, is it only physical damage that heals you, dealing physical damage heals for 12% of the damage dealt, fuck, because all of this is magic damage, I think, like, our Q is physical damage, and our auto attacks are, and so is our mirror mana. It might still be good. It might actually still be good. I'm willing to try it, because it's, it's got the potential to be good. But, um... I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait, Mob Mamordius? What? That gives you attack speed, spell vamp, and lifesteal? What? Today I fucking learned! That's incredibly strong! What the hell? What the fuck? Alright, you know what? I got a bone to pick with you, LeBlanc! I got a bone to pick with you! Hey! 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 
Hey. Hey, I got a... I got one of them bones to pick with you. Wait. Oh, the flash. Oh, God. You killed the block. Hey. Hi, Lee Sin. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. All right. Let's push mid. Because I think we should probably try and get something now that LeBlanc is dead. And if we group up and get something while LeBlanc is down, that would be ideal. Or Vayne will solo the Ezreal, and that is not a very good thing for us, as Volibear tries to go down and get the Ezreal as well. But we can still try and do something here, because while I'm leading the Crusade, I will do quite a lot of damage to this, as well as bringing in quite the front line. So let's just go ahead and keep on pushing. LeBlanc is down for another 25 seconds still. We can definitely work on this. Uh, that was a bit of a panic flash, if I do say so myself. Maybe see if we can do this. You know what? Come on, let's fucking do this. Come here, brother. That's going to be so much damage coming in. Maybe, oh, that's going to be some big pain going off on, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right, come on. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. Come on, I say I ain't done with you. Come here. Uh, uh, nyeh, nyeh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right, I'll take some of it. So doing well, actually we did quite a lot of work there I mean it wasn't enough because you know LeBlanc just came or came and murdered me but they both had some good zonias there and I gotta say uh, that was really should have just auto attacked there uh, ee, yeah ooh definitely should have just used the auto attack there um Yikes! That was... oh, jeez. Okay. Eh, not enough. <laughs> Flame is lame, let's remember that, but... Wow! Oh, oh, no. Oh, Volibear. And he tried. Okay. Um... <laughs> what the fuck is this game, dude? This is awesome. This is just... just terrific. Let's see if I can get up. Oh, the fucking Condemn! Alright, here I am! Here comes me. So, Elixir of Iron? Sure, dude. Sure, why not? Hey, what? What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Get out of here! You're mine, brother! You're mine! That's gonna be the double kill coming in for Yorick. Easy pickups right there. 15, 8, and 6. And, well, you know, there's nothing I can really do right now. I mean, we could go for Baron. I think that would be our best bet um, as far as anything we can do. But on the other hand, we kind of have three inhibitors down. So... I don't know about this. And it looks like Diana got soloed by the least sin. I didn't even notice Diana was 5 and 17. Wait! Wait, guys! Look at it! Praise the sun, dude! Diana bought a nega- Oh, she bought the Abyssal Scepter! 43 minutes into the game, she has the Abyssal Scepter. Ladies and gentlemen, this game's over. We just won. Yeah, three down and three inhibitors down. Bad idea. <laughs> we can't really- we can't afford to do anything. Like, we truthfully cannot afford to do anything. Because by the time we get this Baron killed, it's going to be- not much we can do, but three inhibitors. I don't think I don't think he understands, but like what three inhibitors means. Okay, whatever. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue ever with Diana. No. Nope. Nope. She clearly does not get it. So I'm not. I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm done talking. <laughs> not going to bother. Not going to bother even a little bit. Because apparently even with people defending, we still lost an inhibitor turret. Or a nexus turret. So I feel like my, uh, my, my, my case is, is rested. My case is rested. So, let's go ahead and get some mana back. And apparently this is going to be the last fight in the game. Um, I'm assuming. 
So, Volibear going down as he tries to Rambo in. And let's see. Whoop. Let's go ahead and just beat up on her. That's going to be a lot of pain going off in here. And maybe, whoop, maybe, come on, the heel going to go down. But her life is as well. And, well, you know what, Worth? Got the vein. I don't even care. Literally nothing we could have done that game, dude. I think, as far as that game goes, our performance was pretty, honestly, pretty stellar overall. Um, like, as far as personal performance, we did very well that game. And only, only being out damaged by Vayne, so that's not bad. Not bad. 16, 9, and 6. Still had a very good Yorick game. And if you guys did, in fact, enjoy this video, do make sure that you do leave a like and favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!